For hundreds of years, the people of Talawa village have lived off the sea. While their gardens provide them with endless fruit and vegetables, the reef is a never-ending source of seafood. Just one turtle can provide them with enough protein to feed a family group for days. But the people of Talawa haven't eaten a turtle for 10 years because the chief has made it taboo. You may lose some more resources for you may plant it. Plant something where you may lose some finish loss a lot. But my whole thing about all future generation for you may might suppose you may continue to kill him total or you may get high on some resources where you may be stable, you may be stable, you may feel no more stuff. I think all future generation for you may be no more stable look total. From now on, number plot total, it go, it go down. Nicholas is one of five volunteer staff who work every day to help preserve the resources of their reef. Seven chiefs have united on the islands of Nuna and Pele to make Vanuatu's first marine protected area. Two years ago, the people of Talawa decided they needed some help, so they enlisted the expertise of Chris Bartlett, an American marine biologist who's been funded by the Peace Corps to live and work in the village. My role is as an advisor, as a Western consultant, to bring uh, ecology and biology theory into the traditional practice of setting up marine protected areas. The turtle tagging program has actually made the MPA financially sustainable. Uh, people can come and they can sponsor a sea turtle that we are going to tag and release, which we would do anyway, but they can then give it a name, put it back in the protected area, and then follow it around the South Pacific on our online database. When I first came to Vanuatu, I had no idea that I would be diving for sea turtles on the reef at night, and it was just incredible. The first time I went with these guys, um, on a turtle dive, snorkeling at night, watching them hold their breath for three minutes, going down to get a huge marine reptile like a sea turtle. Just amazing. Holding it in my hands when they got it back on the boat is a once-in-a-lifetime experience for me. I was in the conservation area of the castle hotel. I I was in the castle hotel. I was in the castle hotel. I was in you go crab him no more. Yes, somewhere all you know, all you look at you, you look at you, you look at you, you
Back in Tullower, the MPA staff are tagging turtles with school children. For them, the most important part of their work is sharing it. You sort of say, you want them sort of say, how now by you find them from, you must look at them. And I make a, I want to make a fingernail, like a tool low hand blame, the green, green total, and make a tool no more. They know all too well that for every turtle they tag, another is being eaten in the masculines. I've been a real story in the ASEAN man, and I've been a real story in the ASEAN man. I've been a real story in the ASEAN man, and I've been a real story in the ASEAN man, and I've been a real story in the ASEAN man, and I've been a real story in the ASEAN man. Or generation, or future generation blogger, might buy a thing. So, so this stuff continue blogger guy. They hear blogger to blog find them to tell back again or guy to tell back again. For seven communities here on Noon and Pele to come together, it is very significant that they've blocked the sea turtles, and it's only come about in the fact that the MPA is increasing the numbers of other resources that they can depend on for protein, such as fish and giant clam. Without the combination of having a marine protected area and putting a taboo on, on the sea turtles, it just wouldn't work. conservation area from where you may lose more resources for you may plant it. Plant something where you may lose finish loss a lot. future generation for you might suppose you may continue to kill him total, might have the future generation for you by the number of the total.